A week ago, President Tate announced the end of LSU's indoor mask mandate. Reporter Elon Valdivieso met with an LSU health and medical advisory member and students to find out more about the effects of lifting the mandate and how students are feeling a week later. On November 16th, LSU announced it would be lifting its mask mandate. Dr. Rebecca Christofferson is an expert on how the virus spreads. She says the advisory committee looked at data around the world and in our area when making their advisory decision. In the community of LSU, we have high vaccination rates. We have, um, at the peak of the pandemic, I'm sorry, at the peak of the Delta surge, we had 190 cases in one day. Now we're down to 15. However, Christofferson says there is a possibility the masks will come back. And if things start to look bad again, because again, we're, we're looking at data daily, that we may need to reimpose it if things get bad. We don't know where we'll be after Thanksgiving. We don't know where we'll be after Christmas. But right now, we are actually doing really well. LSU freshman Riley Choplin says she's happy the masks are gone. I mean, it's still optional for if you do want to wear it. So I think that's good. Um, but honestly, it was time for uh, LSU to lift it. And I'm glad they did. Dr. Christofferson says just because the mask mandate is gone doesn't mean you don't have to wear one. Sometimes we wear a mask situationally if we're going to a really crowded place because there's more than just COVID out there, right? There's RSV, there's the flu. We're seeing a pretty good number of flus, flu cases right now. LSU is asking students to be cautious and use good judgment over the Thanksgiving holiday. For Tiger TV News, I'm Milan Valdivieso. Although the mandate was lifted, masks are still required on Tiger Trails buses and the Student Health Center. All three COVID vaccines and vaccine booster shots are available on campus as well.